Another cool thing is basically taking your snare and your crash cymbals and doing the same uh, triplet feel. Ba, you know, with your snare and your crash, and then double bass. Ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, and just alternate your hands all over the place. It can be fun. Here we go. Maybe you throw a double in every so often, you know, ba-ba, ba-ba. So you're doing a full 16th note. So you're going from triplet to 16th notes. Let's hear that. So those are some cool things there, too. Um, another thing, it's a neat little fill. Uh, I kind of do sometimes between my, um, my China Boy and Snare and that double bass is the same kind of bada da da bada da da bada bada kind of feel, but I'm, I'm doing unison with my, my right and left hand between the snare and the, uh, the, the China. So here we go. Notice that there's no exact set pattern. Just fool around with it. Uh, come up with something cool. These are just ideas to, you know, you know get you thinking. So, again, this is kind of cool in a fill. So, here we go. So, that's pretty neat. And you can incorporate that in, into a fill. So, if you're just... Uh, Whatever, it's soloing, uh, or you know, this is probably not something you do in the middle of a song. The rest of the band would be like, what the heck is our drummer doing? But anyway, in the middle of a solo or something, that's a bad little groove to throw in there. So here it is again somewhere. I'll, I'm just going to wing a bunch of this double bass stuff uh, into something and see what comes out. I'm going to improv for you and, and incorporate all these crazy things. <laughs> 